All right, little buddy, do you know what we're doing today? Yes. We are moving the chickens into the winter garden yard. The winter chicken yard. Chicken yard. Here behind me is my garden area and this is where we're going to overwinter the chickens. The idea is we, we're going to transition them into the greenhouse for the winter. Being in this hoop house they have protection from the wind. Obviously the plastic here is a wind barrier, keeps the wind off of them. And it's clear so they are getting some sunlight when the sun is out during the winter on those rare days. We've done this in the years past and it's always worked out pretty well. Only this year it's gotten a little overgrown in there. Yeah. I wonder if we just put the chickens in there and let them sort of clear that out on their own. When I had the pigs in here in the spring to first turn the garden over, they got over here in this area and they did some damage to the door frame and they turned up some of the soil and kind of buried the door here. No matter, we'll get this straightened out. The important thing is is that we get the chickens in here while the weather's still nice. We've had some snowstorms and then it's melted away. But the winter weather will be returning soon, so we definitely want to get the chickens in here and get this done, taken care of for the season. Oh wow, look at that. Here in the garden, we still have some kale. This was turned over right here by the pigs. I finished the pigs in, in the garden here after the garden was done for the season. And looks like they left us some kale here, buddy. Look at that. Isn't that something? That is resilience right there. There's some more green left right there. Did you look at that? Another kale plant, still alive. Still, still leafing out. It's incredible after being uprooted like that. Friends came over today to help move the chickens, but little buddy showing off his new little drone. Saffron, don't break it. Here it is, Saffron, right over here. Don't crash it. There you go. Crashed. All right, little buddy, show us how to fly that thing again. I can even take it off from my hand. I cannot believe something like that can actually fly. It's incredible. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. Land, land. But you just charged it. The battery's already dead? Probably because it's been like flashing all forever. Okay. The plan is we're going to open the fence to the garden and then we're going to pick up the chicken tractor just a little bit off the ground just enough so we can move it but not high enough so the chickens are gonna escape. What are you guys doing? I'm just gonna go take it first. Oh you're gonna fly the drone again. Okay last time and then we gotta move the chicken tractor okay? Move just like please. But we're gonna get the chicken tractor into the garden and then we'll release the fowl. Sounds good. It, it probably needs a long time to charge. One chicken went into this fenced off area here. I have a fenced off when the pigs were in here from my apple tree. Uh, she's in there. The rest of them couldn't get in there. They're out wandering. You don't see her? No. I thought one was moving around in here. 
Yeah, so we only have five chickens accounted for out here, and we don't see one in that bushy area. Down a chicken. All right, Saffron, I need you to find the sixth chicken, please. Yeah, she's in there. Okay. We can hear it. So she'll find her way out, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Are we going in? What? There she is. Hi. Hey. Can you, you grab doing? her? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you got that on camera. <laughs> there she is. She's out. All right, we're good. Uh, her wing caught my face. Where? Okay, we have all six back. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we got them all. More again. We got the door pushed open here, and hopefully the chickens will make their way in here. They will undoubtedly return to the tractor to go to sleep tonight. So when they're sleeping, that would be the ideal time to move them into the greenhouse, and then we'll close the tractor off so they won't, so it'll break the habit of them sleeping in there and they'll get used to sleeping in the greenhouse. Well, after dark, as you can see, we're gonna go check on the chickens and see what the situation's like. All right, let's see if they're all in there. There's one in there, at least one. Where are the others? You gonna look for them, buddy? Turn your light on. All right, go around that way. I'll go this way. Not in here. Hope they didn't go in here. Yeah, just the one chicken. Where are your friends? Let's drop it. Let's just leave her alone for now. I must admit, I'm a little concerned that we only have one chicken in here. I cannot find the other five. We've checked all around this garden area and then the surrounds. Nowhere to be found. We're going to check in the in that structure right over there to see if they wandered over that way. Close this up. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. <laughs> what are you doing up there? That's f one, two, one, two, three, four of them. So we're still missing one. You see him? Yeah. Okay, hold the light up that way. I'm gonna have to take him down. I found the last one. Where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Or there she is. Good eye, boy. Alright guys, we got them all in here. All six of them are counted. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, all six are here on the perch inside the greenhouse. Close this door back. This door isn't gonna keep them in for sure or anything out. Well, hopefully that's not gonna be a nightly occurrence and they're not gonna wanna roost up on the hog panels or trees or anything like that. And they'll just wanna eventually settle in nicely to their greenhouse. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Earlier this morning when I got back from taking little buddy to school, two of the chickens were out of the greenhouse, just meandering in the chicken yard and the other four were still in there. So I'm kind of curious to see what they're doing now. Hello ladies. Where are your friends? There's two, third one back there. Actually, they're all here, one, two, three. Four, five, and six right there. There's good news and bad news. Bad news. There are no eggs in their nesting box. The good news, I think I know where to look to find them. This was that area that they were all trying to get in yesterday. I left the fence open, and I'm 
betting they're gonna be in here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, yep, right back there in that corner. Uh, two eggs. No, it looks like three eggs. Nice little nest here. Hey, do me a favor. Use your nesting box next time, would you? The chickens are pretty well settled in here. I'm just gonna check back tonight, see if they are going into the greenhouse to roost or if they're gonna choose another location. I'm betting that we probably have another night or two of having to find them and put them back in the greenhouse before they get the hang of it, but we'll see how it goes. All right, it's about dust time. The chickens should be heading in. We're gonna go check their status, see where they're going. Ah, oh, here they are. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. All six are here. All right, the ladies are all tucked in on the roosting bar. Hopefully it'll feel like home after tonight. All right, little buddy, it's night three. We'll go check on the chickens. Well, they're not roosting up there. Hi, Priscilla. Are you doing some night hunting? Yeah, here they are. Pretty much the same spot they were last night. Let's see, there are uh, one, two, three, four, four, all of them are right here. All six of them are here, little buddy. I got them all in the greenhouse again, all up on the perch. Only this time I put this pallet in front of the door, so they're not just gonna be able to walk out in the morning. I'm gonna let them spend some time in there tomorrow so that they really, so that it really impresses on them that this is where they need to go. I closed this gate, hoping that they wouldn't lay eggs in here again, but they did. I made little buddy's favorite dinner, cider braised pork chops. What are your thoughts? How'd it come out? It came out pretty great. I do like steak too. Yeah. Yeah. But this pork, these pork chops are from our pig. Makes it that much better. Yep, tastes homemade. So the pallet worked, the chickens are all still in here. Admittedly, I've made two mistakes with this. One, I should have had them locked in here to begin with, letting them kind of free range right off the bat wasn't the best idea. Locking them in here for about three days kind of gets it in their mind that this is home and this is where they need to go back to roost. Definitely should have done that and also, I shouldn't be using a pallet, I should have this door fixed. So we'll need to get some mulch in here and get this door fixed. Projects, projects, projects. Uh -huh.